Hey, Dr. Amy here, and in this video, I'm showing you 10 foods to help prevent ovarian cancer or stop a recurrence. If you've been diagnosed with ovarian cancer, or if you're at high risk for cancer, then you're gonna wanna know about these foods. But when it comes to cancer, there's a hard truth. Your food, it either fuels your cancer or it fights it. You get to decide. Which side do you wanna be on? Now, of course, we cannot 100% guarantee that you will never have ovarian cancer or an ovarian cancer recurrence, but you can lower your risk. You can take action and do something about it. So if you're the type of person who wants to do everything in your power to make sure that you stay cancer-free, then you need to know about these nine foods. So let's dive in, starting with number one, fatty fish. These are fish like salmon, mackerel, or sardines. Including more foods that are high in omega-3s and healthy fats, well, that's gonna lower your risk of several types of cancer, including ovarian cancer. There are a couple reasons why this has been shown to happen. The first is that omega-3s can help with inflammation in your body. Undergoing stressors like surgery, chemo, or radiation, that can cause a lot of inflammation in your body. And eating fatty fish, it can help with that. This is what's been shown to be the most effective in lowering your risk of cancer or a cancer recurrence. And eating fatty fish, that's a big part of the Mediterranean diet. But there's another really important reason why you need to include fatty fish. Fish is high in protein. For ovarian cancer survivors, specifically, this is very important. Just this year, a study was published that showed ovarian cancer survivors who ate to a higher amount of protein, they had a lower risk of cancer recurrence. So if you eat to higher protein levels, you could have longer progression-free survival. Stay free of ovarian cancer for longer. That is exactly what I want as a stage three ovarian cancer survivor. That is a big motivator for me to eat more protein every single day. And here I am, almost seven years cancer-free. You can start by aiming to eat fish once a week and then eventually moving up to twice a week. Okay, but on to the second food that you need to eat as an ovarian cancer survivor. You need to include flaxseed. Flaxseed is rich in ligands, which are estrogen-like properties in the flaxseed. Okay, but if you're a cancer survivor with any type of hormone positive or hormone driven cancer, then red flags might be going up for you right now. Why would you wanna eat food that has a compound that's like estrogen? That's the opposite of what you're trying to do with your long-term treatment or your anti-hormonal therapy. Many women who work with me in the Cancer Freedom Program come to me with this exact same concern but these compounds, they do not raise the estrogen in your body. They actually do the opposite. These ligands may actually suppress or limit the effects of estrogen in your body, which is often linked to certain types of cancer. Not only does this make it a safe option for cancer survivors, but it makes it a must include option. So start by adding flaxseed to your diet today. Flaxseed also contains omega-3 fatty acids, which we've already touched on, and it also contains fiber and antioxidants. Ground flaxseed can be added to smoothies or yogurt, and it can also be used as an egg substitute if you add it to certain recipes. Okay, but onto the next food that lowers your risk of ovarian cancer, leafy green vegetables. These are vegetables like spinach, kale, or Swiss chard. These foods are packed with antioxidants and are full of vitamin C. That's helpful to protect you against all different types of cancer, including ovarian cancer. Eating after cancer should really focus on one core principle, to eat plant forward. Now, a plant forward diet, it still contains animal products. Things like chicken, dairy, turkey, or seafood. But the majority of food that you eat, it should come from plants. And the same is true for ovarian cancer survivors. There are several cancer prevention guidelines that make the same recommendations. The American Cancer Institute suggests that you have a diet that's high in vegetables and fruit. The American Cancer Society gives nearly the exact same recommendation. So if you truly wanted to take just one simple step in lowering your risk of ovarian cancer through your food, then you would focus on eating more vegetables. A great place to start would be including half of your plate full of vegetables at every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and supper. This is tricky for breakfast, but let me give you an example. Make a spinach and egg white omelet. That is a great place to start. You can add in spinach, tomatoes, peppers, whatever other types of vegetables you wanna include. Plus the spinach, it's gonna wilt down and you won't feel like you're eating so much food. Okay, but the next food that I have to include 
is one of my favorites. Berries. This is a great choice for cancer survivors, but especially for ovarian cancer survivors. Berries are a terrific option to lower your risk of cancer. Let me tell you why. Berries are packed with antioxidants and fiber. Berries like blueberries, blackberries, or raspberries, they're all rich in phytochemicals, which are known to be able to fight off free radicals and help support cellular health. That leads me to the next food, nuts and seeds. This includes things like almonds, walnuts, chia seeds, or pumpkin seeds. These types of foods give you healthy fats, antioxidants, and fiber. They offer just a ton of nutrition and just a little bite. That's the great thing about nuts and seeds. If you find it tough to eat after cancer, or if your appetite just isn't there anymore, then eating nuts or seeds can really help. These foods are packed with calories, but in a very small volume of food. So you aren't eating and eating and eating to get all your calories in, just one bite and you're good. Now, if you have not found that your appetite is impacted by cancer, then I would focus on eating pumpkin seeds. These have a high amount of protein compared to other nuts or seeds, so it's actually a great option for ovarian cancer survivors. That brings me to the next food, beans. Beans have consistently been shown to lower the risk of cancer or a cancer recurrence, and hardly anyone is eating them. Of all the foods on this list, beans are probably the least talked about, and they can make the biggest impact in lowering your cancer risk. They are very high in fiber, and we know that this is gonna lower your risk of cancer or a cancer recurrence. It's really easy to start adding beans into your diet more often. You can put refried beans on a taco, add some black beans to a salad, or toss them into some soup. You can even make a white bean dip. There are a lot of options of what you can do with beans. An ovarian cancer survivor that I work with in the Cancer Freedom Program, well, she really struggled to add in more beans or legumes to her diet. She always thought that she disliked them, but she knew they would lower her risk of cancer. So we got creative. You can make hummus and add it to a sandwich. Put them in the air fryer and they make a great salad topper. After trying a few options, she found that she was most successful by adding lentils into a soup that she took with her to work every single day. She was able to add in these lentils and she was able to significantly increase the fiber in her diet. All of this is actively lowering her risk of an ovarian cancer recurrence. If you wanna start making very strategic changes to your diet to lower your risk of ovarian cancer, then you need my free recipe book, 15 Simple Cancer Recovery Recipes for Women. I'll link it up below, click the link below to get your free copy. Okay, but this would not be a list to lower your risk of ovarian cancer without including this next food. Cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, these are all examples of cruciferous vegetables that contain glycosinolates, which are known to lower your risk of cancer. Plus, these vegetables are high in fiber, antioxidants, and phytochemicals, which have specifically been shown to lower the risk of ovarian cancer. Glycosinolates can be converted into anti-cancer compounds. It helps to detoxify your body of harmful substances, reduce inflammation, and inhibit tumor cell growth. You can try steaming or sauteing these vegetables to really preserve their nutritional value. I often have a bag of broccoli beside me on my desk so I can snack on it as I'm working throughout the day. But we know that diets that lower the risk of cancer or a cancer recurrence, they need to be more plant forward. If you want to lower your risk of cancer, then you need to focus on adding more plants into your diet. Okay, so on to the next food and this one might surprise you. Onions and leeks. Now onions contain sulfur compounds and flavonoids, which are known to lower the risk of cancer, including ovarian cancer. Add onions or leeks to your soups, stews, or stir fries, chop them up, and add in some extra flavor while lowering your risk of ovarian cancer. This is also gonna help to bump up the flavor in your dish, really helping you get around any taste changes you've had because of your cancer or cancer treatment. Okay, but on to the next food, and this one is a controversial one. I hardly ever include this list on foods that cancer survivors should eat, but I have to include it here for my fellow ovarian cancer survivors. 
Liver. Liver is one of the most nutrient dense foods in the world. It, it contains protein, B vitamins, and eating a single serving can give you all of your nutrients for the entire day. Now, hardly anyone eats liver just because of the thought of it or they just hate the taste. But just think of the cancer fighting potential from a liver and onion dish. It's amazing. That's why I have to mention it here. That brings me to the last food to help fight off ovarian cancer, green tea. Now, green tea is great for ovarian cancer survivors, not only because it's packed with antioxidants, but it also contains flavonoids. After cancer or cancer treatment, so many women struggle with brain fog or chemo brain, and flavonoids can make a difference. Now, we do need to take a multi-step approach to help your brain recover from chemo brain, but your nutrition plays a big role in that. The first thing that you can easily start doing today is to eat more flavonoids. Eating foods that are high in flavonoids will help with your cognitive ability and help you recover from that chemo brain. Okay, so now that you know which foods to eat to lower your risk of ovarian cancer, you need to know about the most effective strategy to prevent cancer. This can lower your risk of an ovarian cancer recurrence by up to 59%. That's exactly why I'm linking up this next video here on targeted exercise for cancer survivors. Click the link here, I'll see you in the next video.